Greetings all, this is Max. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, YouTube monetization. And what does that mean? You know, the fun subject. Um, well, my channel is uh, pretty much a Christian thing, right? Um, and I have Christian speakers that go up and, you know, I copy their videos and put them up. And... What they're starting to do is actually monetize all of their videos. And it's like, um, do I need to watch a commercial to get saved? Is that what I need to do? Is that is that Christian? I mean, I, I don't think so. But, you know, apparently these people do. So they're not going to be in my channel anymore. Um... They're pretty much done. Uh, I bought a television recently. And you can't skip the commercials when you're watching YouTube on television. You can't skip the commercials. You can't do anything. Um, oh, look at this guy. Look at this. We got an ad. Let's see how Christian this is. I'm a Christian, though. I'm a Christian. Just give me money. Give me your money. No, I'll tell you how to get saved. Sure, maybe a copyright strike for this too, because I'm running their ad and I'm not monetized. <laughs> That's Christian. All right, welcome back. Here um, we go. We're continuing. Now the video starts. A guy in front of a whiteboard. No problem with that, but like, what the heck is going on with the monetization and the stuff going on before that? This man wants his money. That's all there is to it. He wants his money. You know, I like Robert Breaker and his teaching is pretty sound. But what the crap are you doing? You don't sell the gospel you don't it's a free gift you give it to people that's what it is this man is selling it sad it's really sad to see people like fall away like that and you know my wife says that uh, well Robert Breaker doesn't know what sort of commercials are playing on his channel. Well, if he's running a business, he better. Because that's what he's doing. Running a business. He's selling salvation. You better know what commercials are up there. I'm not selling anything. Everything that I have to offer is free. Okay.
Selling salvation right there. Ken Hovind is another one who's selling salvation. Ken Hovind official. Am I going to get an ad? Let's see. If you add anything on your computer, Ken Hoven. you need to get Grammarly. I write pretty much all day, every day, and Grammarly makes my writing better. As a student, you guys understand. I, like that it's I mean, is this video is Grammar error, just about errors. false profits. It even helps me find the right words to because there is no real profit, there is no real anybody who is going to try and sell you something before you listen to the gospel and before you listen to the word of the Bible, before you listen to oh, I'm gonna sell you something first. Nobody no saved person is going to do that. No saved person. And it sucks, man, because I got I have Ken Hovens and uh, Robert Breaker stuff all over my channel. It sucks. I don't want to deal with this stuff, but I have to. I have to. It's bullcrap, man. Bullcrap. Yeah, they have a good message. They speak some truth. Well, they're also making a butt ton of money off of ads and everything else on YouTube why they don't need it Good evening, folks. September 11th, 2016. In spite of the tragedy of today, 15 years ago, Jesus loves the little children. All the. Kent Hovind, who has been around for about 50 years, has half the subscribers as Robert Breaker. Interesting coincidence. Interesting. Just, you know. Because Robert Breaker doesn't do sh at all. He didn't do anything. Ken Hoven actually has his little plantation, his little farm, and he's trying to build Dinosaur Adventureland. Whatever. Half the subscribers, though. Why is that? Why is that? Why is this guy so popular? His ads generate more revenue. That's pretty much the key, is that this guy's ads generate more revenue for YouTube and for everybody else. Well, it goes back to the same thing. I'm going to sell salvation. I'm going to sell it. I'm not going to call the guy a dirtbag yet. He's probably fine. But you don't sell salvation. You don't sell the word of God. You don't sell anything like that. That's what he's doing. Maybe he'll figure it out someday. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? With that, I'm out of here.